We got the cops calling us. Three times. Now, I'm not gonna make any arguments here besides the fact that mini bikes aren't that loud unless they're straight piped, but we're banned from riding in the neighborhood officially by the Chandler Police Department, so that's the end of that. We still got um, parking lot spaces we can go, and I'm still gonna be working on the projects, but it just means that I got a new one. So I have a few name options. Um, the one I like the most right now is the electric middle finger because it's a F you to all the people who have been calling the cops on me because I still get to do what I want, but now they don't have a reason to call the cops on me. Um, but I'm op definitely open to new ideas since the electric middle finger doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. So leave them down in the comments and we'll decide. In the meantime, we're going to try to build a new rear frame for this thing. Uh, we were racing it a few days ago at the parking lot, which you can see at the end of the video um, that I just put out. And I crashed it. Again, bent the frame. Let's see if we can get a good shot of it. Not great. Not great. Um, and, uh, I mean, look, a lot of this stuff was never secured in the first place. This front engine mount isn't even welded on. It's just literally just... Um, bolted in right there and right there so it's completely off it, it this card is a mess but if we're gonna do the electric e-bike project we're not gonna have enough money to get a welder to do the um, new race cart frame so we're just gonna try it today no clue how this is gonna turn out um but i'm assuming it's not gonna exactly be pretty but let's just do it we got nothing else to do and i'd rather have something to race around while we wait for this e-bike Just want to show you guys. So, <laughs> this is a straight edge compared to what was supposed to be straight. Oh my god. You can see the paint cracking as the metal warps. Jeez. Let's figure out a frame. thousand IQ up in here I don't know how well you guys can see that but we got some pretty thick wall metal from an old roof rack I think we're gonna 
use that. Have it go almost all the way up. Or even actually maybe go all the way up. Secure right here, here, and here. Yeah, I think that might work. Get this other one off. But I also need it to be as strong as possible for the cheapest. Everything's mocked up. Looks like it's gonna fit. Um, the frame didn't appear to be much longer, maybe about 12, 10 inches than the original. So uh, I'm happy with it. We have our two engine mounts going across here. And then we have um, another point where it mounts to the frame. And then there'll be a hole drilled right here, drilled right here, and then maybe drilled up here. Basically just to hold everything together and make sure it doesn't warp this time because last time it was held on by hose clamps and like mounted in like maybe two points. I gotta figure out a better solution. But here's what we have done so far. The first engine mount, all of this is bolted in. Um, 3 8 inch bolt right here, 3 8 inch bolt right here, uh, 5 16 bolt right there, 5 16 bolt right there, and then 3 8 and 3 8 right there. Um, and then, uh, depending on what I have for uh, bolt materials, I'll probably do a 3 8 right there, 3 8 right here, and then the uh, 3 8 for the both pillow blocks. So. Coming along nicely. Pretty much everything is mounted. Um, I had the holes off on this engine mount. You can see them right there, and then you can see where they actually are. So I just did the same thing I did on the mini bike and put two of these one inch uh, square tubing things next to each other. Um, and then we have both pillow blocks mounted. Um, and as you can see, the sprocket and the torque converter are going to be pretty close, so we'll see how that goes. Might have some problems with the chain rubbing against this plate, but hopefully there shouldn't be much of an issue. We'll see how it goes. Chain's mounted, rear axle set up, now we just got to set up the brakes and most of the main systems and then we should be good. Whew, we might get this done in a day. Well, we've pulled the go-kart out just for you guys to get a good look at it. Um, pretty much all we got to do is put the wheels on the back axle, secure those down, put the keys in them, and then we got to hook up the controls for uh, the acceleration, kill switch, and then we got to save up um, and get new front wheels, or at least new front bearings, because the weird thing about these is this is 5 eighths, and this is 3 fourths, all right? So the bearings actually have to be separate. I have the original bearing, and a original bearing from the cart, um, but the other one uh, finally exploded and s causing a crash, so that was fun.
six hour go-kart build now naturally it doesn't have any front wheels so it's not completely done but pretty much everything on it is working we just got to save it for some new bearings um we'll order those soon hopefully amazon isn't doing the whole coronavirus thing where everything's gonna arrive in three months so hope for the best things like that So they're the wrong size. I had my suspicions, but I was like, whatever. All right, I'll make them work. Can't even attempt to make them work. <sighs> so, we just Gorilla glued the other one back together. See if this works. I doubt it'll work for more than like three runs, but still, that's some fun. Yeah, so that lasted me a good 30 seconds. There's gotta be some way we can redneck this. All right, we reinforced the um, bearings, or I think they're more of bushings now, and cut off a little bit to space it out, make sure everything stays compacted, because that's the only way this um, bearing is gonna stay together. As you can see, we got the um, Harbor Freight wheels back on. Obviously, these aren't gonna last long, and the bearings in them are pretty shot. So I'm gonna order um, a new front wheel set from Go Power Sports. Might get the slicks. Might, if they have an option, get a similar uh, tread to the back tires just to get it to match. And they'll be, I think, four inches wide. Not crazy, but they'll look good. I don't want to stress the video out too much, um, so I think I'm gonna end it here. This will be part one of the go kart finishing up, and we'll get some good footage of racing around in um, a neighborhood that doesn't hate me. So. <laughs> See you soon. Peace.